Good afternoon everyone. In this video, we will discuss all the 9 application security projects and their process flow. Each video will be for less than a minute to understand the application security projects. This video will be suitable for developers, administrators, managers for implementing the application security process within their application. Let's start with the first project that is threat modeling. Threat modeling is done before developing an application code. In threat modeling, security analyst will look into data flow diagram, process flow documents, functional documents to implement the security controls at each process. Let's see this data flow diagram for connecting to the login page, for sending a request to login page and connecting to the backend database. So here user sends a request to web servlet and web server invokes the web page and then he connects to the database. So he in this data flow diagram, the security analyst will look for while sending a request to the website, are they implementing HTTPS or not? Or while connecting to the database, are they imp implementing the proper SQL query to prevent SQL injection attacks? Here, threat means a vulnerability that is likely to cause a damage or danger. This means security issue might occur at a certain process within an application. It's not in real because application code is not developed at this point. So all the issues are generic or which may come, which or may come or may not come. So, okay, here in this threat modeling, the client will not give any URL or application source code or request or response. Based on this document or threat modeling report, the developer will implement the security controls within the application code at initial stage itself. This saves a lot of time for developers because let's say an application code is developed and a security analyst found some security issues and if they are assigned to another developer, another developer has to understand the complete process flow of the application to implement the security controls. So that's a time consuming process. Okay, let's move to the second project that is security code review. In security code review, security analyst will look into the actual application code and finds the security flaws within the code. Let's discuss the sample HTML vulnerable code here. By looking at this code, I see three to four security issues within this piece of course because this is the login page which is requesting for the username and password within the text field. So here they are using method equal to get and the, for the password attribute they are using type is equal to text. So let's see that in real time. Here on the password field whatever we type it will be in clear text because we have given as type is equal to text. And after submitting, the username and password are seen in the URL. So anyone can see the username and password in the browser history because the method we have given as get. Yeah. So security code review will be done for all the programming languages like Java, .NET, PHP, Android, iOS, IoT. It can be done using automation tools. But if you do it manually, then we find at least 200% more security issues than automated tools. In this secure code review, analyst will check for more than 100 unique security issues within the application code. Let's go to the next project that is secure coding. Once the security code review is done and the security issues are reported to the developers, security analyst will work with the developer to implement the proper security controls within the code. Let's say that the developer has some background security knowledge and he has encrypted the username and password in the database thinking that that is the most secured way. But after seeing that the security analyst is say that the, it is a poor because it's a poor security validation because the username and password should be hashed. If the username and passwords are encrypted within the database, they can be decrypted back. So, so here the Within the, within the secure code reviewing process, the security analyst will check for whether the proper the security controls are implemented within the code or not. Let's move to the second project that is white box 
penetration testing. In white box penetration testing, security analyst will perform penetration testing on dynamic pages. He will analyze the request and response of the website to find the security flaws instead of looking into the actual application code. In white box penetration testing, the website URL, username, passwords are given by the client. In this, security analyst will check for more than 100 security issues within the application code. Let's see one example like how the white box penetration testing is done. Let's say the client has given the login page. So the security analyst will check for security issues. One of them is like SQL injection. Don't try this on other websites. So the this is called payload. So here the security analyst will enter the same in the place of username and password and he'll be logged in as the first user in the database that's called admin. So in this way, this is one example. Like this, the security analyst will check for more than 100 security issues within the application. Let's go to the next project that is black box penetration testing. In black box penetration testing, security analyst will perform penetration testing on dynamic pages just like in white box penetration testing. In black box testing, penetration testing, there are more than 100 security test cases. But the difference between the white box and black box penetration testing is in black box penetration testing, the client will not give username and password to the website and attacker has to find by himself using any approach. Let's move to the next project that is threat profiling. In threat profiling, the attacker will look into all the requests and responses to this, see the security validations within the code. Here, the security analyst will not send any payloads like he used to send in white box and black box penetration testing. He will visit the website like a normal user. He will analyze the HTTP headers, HTTP response codes, HTML source code to find out the security flaws or sensitive information within the application. So in threat profiling, the security analyst will look for all the internal IP addresses from the email addresses and finding the employee emails, contact numbers from forums, finding the application code from the GitHub kind of thing. Let's move to the next project that is secure configuration reviews. In secure configuration review, security analyst will check for security flaws within the operating system, database, HTTP server and other protocols. In this, security analyst will look for hundreds of security checks within the configuration files for each protocol. Let's say Windows operating system. If I if you write secpool.msc, this is just an example. We can see the security policies of Windows operating system. Here, the minimum password length should be no one has mentioned if I put the minimum password learn should to 10 so while changing the password it should it, it will ask for the minimum of 10 characters password so there are lots of security security uh, implementations needs to be done in the configuration files let's look into the one document If you take Ubuntu operating system, I don't know why, yeah, in Ubuntu operating system, there are more than 175 security checks needs to be done within the Ubuntu operating system and if you see HTTP server, there are more than seven. There are more than seventy security checks needs to be done to implement the proper security controls within the HTTP server. Let's move to the next project. Secure log analysis. In secure log analysis, the security analyst will look into the log files to find out the attacks performed on the web application. So if the log files are given, he will, the security analyst will look for any harmful payloads are sent to the website. 
to, for SQL injection, local file inclusion, cross scripting. And he reports these security issues to the client. So these are the nine projects which are discussed to understand the each process.